What's up, everybody? This is Terrell, better known as the Rollius. I am back with a brand new TV show review. And this TV show that I will be talking about is the first season of Your Honor. And I was watching the show for a couple of months. The last episode just aired, well, for those that had early access with the app, I guess. And here is my honest opinion opinion on the entire series so the story the synopsis of the story is that a new Orleans judge by the name of Michael is basically forced to help protect his son from being discovered as the killer who accidentally kills a kid that is part of a known Italian mafia family basically a crime organization family and I'm just going to be point blank here the entire TV series is not perfect by a long shot there was some good but there was also a lot of bad WTF inconsistencies just a lot of just different things that just made me like what is the show like it started off promising to me in my opinion when it first premiered it started off very promising but as each episode premiered I started to get more and more and more just like annoyed disappointment just some just more annoyed and everything it was when this was one of these TV shows where I was losing interest, but at the same time, I just wanted to see how is the story going to play out because this show is perhaps one of the most frustrating shows that I've ever seen because how can two people who try to do so much right but causes so much wrong at the same time with their actions? Michael, the new owner's judge, I understand that he was trying to protect his son and that he was trying to do whatever it took. But the fact of the matter is, is that Michael is a dirty judge. And I believe that he was a dirty judge long before this had taken place. Because some of the decisions that he was making was just stupid, was just wrong. Like he could have, he could have gave justice for certain people, but he decided to not to just because of what the crime organization family could do. Adam, on the other hand, Adam, he can really just go f off, and I am not talking about the actor himself. I am just talking about the character Adam, because Adam, I, I sympathize with him at first because being involved in that kind of situation where you accidentally kill somebody with no intentions of doing so gotta be nerve-wracking but his actions throughout the entire series is the main reason as to why i would maybe have to assume like six maybe like the eight people are now dead innocent people because of him like his choices throughout this season was just questionable like him dating the sister of the person that he killed like who would do that like who would really do that though date the sister of the person that you killed and then him trying to get evidence him just acting shady and everything like at times Michael and Adam they were both sloppy like they tried to like keep the evidence just safe and just when he thought all oh, stuff was sweet, nope. Somehow evidence will always like pop up frequently and would just tarnish their plans. And yeah, the Baxter crime family. The Baxter crime family can also go F off. Like, I understand that you lost a son. Like losing a family member by a freak accident is always awful but the fact that you decide that oh let's you know what let's kill this entire family like we have to take a stance 
killing a family that was innocent from the beginning was just super garbage in my opinion and when that scene happened i couldn't believe it i was just like are you serious like what are you doing like they really decided to kill Kofi's entire family and Eugene's entire family like I was really blown away by that and I decided I considered the entire family just scumbags for that Kofi Jones on the other hand I really wanted to see Kofi to get justice because the man was innocent from the beginning he was he was trying to get his GED when the Baxter's son got killed like it's just sad and the fact that he decided he thought that talking to Carlo trying to explain what happened would work that was kind of an idiotic plan because we see what happened and in my honest opinion this show was hard to like root for the characters involved like a good majority of them was either shady garbage or was only out to do what was best for them like the only person that i was probably rooting for in this entire series would probably be eugene and that other detective who was kofi jones's detective and everything like lawyer maybe that is who i was rooting for eugene especially because that kid already lost so much and then he didn't get the justice that he deserved with Carlo being found not guilty of Kofi's murder, even though video evidence showed Kofi coming in and out of the cell after what happened, and then not being allowed to like testify, that just made like a huge slap in the face to me. Like the characters that were chosen, like the actors that were chosen in the show, some of them were pretty good. Brian Cranston, um, the guy from The Wire, um, Eugene, Kofi, like a good majority of the actors was good, but I believe that some of them were poorly like represented and some of them could have been better written. The story itself could have been better written. Like the story definitely had like a lot of like plot holes, a lot of like inconsistencies and some scenes from what people have seen was that whenever the show ended and the next episode previews were like come on like some scenes wouldn't even show up just disappear missing like that is what made the show just all horrible for me the ending itself where like i've said carlo being found not guilty of killing kofi and eugene just finding that out and basically like getting his own justice and with him just taking out Adam the ending was I believe to some bittersweet to me it was just shocking not shocking it was just like I would have loved it had I had the family killed Adam but I think that like the leader of the crime family definitely knew that he was the one that did it and he was probably going to basically force him to do whatever to keep him alive and now that I think about it I don't think Eugene never knew who Adam was so I believe that Eugene will definitely is definitely going to have a long time of this trauma and it sucks like the girl like Adam's girlfriend all said that he's dead like nah he kills your brother like I don't know how I would describe the ending I would just describe the ending as just a slap in the face like I, will, I really want to see the Jones' family get justice, but with all of that has happened in this show, they was never going to get justice one way or another. And with Kofi and with Eugene killing Adam, 
he didn't know who he was. So in his mind, he killed an innocent person without knowing. If there is a season two, I don't know how they're going to do it. If they, I don't think there needs to be a season two because this whole crap, this whole slap slap fist of a show was too much for me. Like at times, I was really considering just like never watching it again, but I was just like, you know what? I want to see how is this going to end and how this show is to me, in my opinion, out of out of five stars maybe two and a half out of three star range like that's how i felt about the show it started it started off promising but as time goes on it just became more disappointing to me in my opinion this is just my opinion you don't have to attack me in the comic section you don't have to tell me to go kill myself or anything like that and if you enjoyed the show hey more power to you but this show was just disappointing. I really wanted to enjoy the show, but that is pr pretty much the end of my review. Um, if you liked my review, please like, comment, subscribe, and tell me what I should review next. And until next time, goodbye.